As we head into the home stretch of the Marbula One season, we reach the Short Circuit, a track that, while it may seem simple on the surface, it is anything but. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. In the march toward the championship, who among the current team members will give their championship hopes a little jolt? Or will they meet resistance from a rival in what could be an action-packed 14 laps? I'm sure we'll work in some more electrical puns since we are at the home of the Thunderbolts. And an interesting qualifying one day ago has Bolt up in third spot, contrary to what many consider still an active host curse in Marbula One, but Speedy sits on pole position, be starting next to Alpine, with Bolt close behind, hoping to get the jump on them. Will lightning strike in a good way? We're about to find out. And we're rolling! Speedy leads the field through the first two right-handers. Alpine, close behind, clutter is gotten by Alpine, goes to the inside and gets the move done. They all move to the inside of that turn there. Now the far chicane. It is Alpine in front of Bolt, who's made it up also past Speedy into second spot. Clementon, Prim, Mocha, and Red Eye weave down the front stretch. Clementon just behind Speedy as they come off the belt. One one hundredth of a second, and Speedy gets the better exit. Alpine holding the lead, but watch behind. Here comes a burst of speed in the draft. Bolt tries for the lead and instead loses a position back to third spot. The crowd here going absolutely crazy. They could see the move coming. It just couldn't be completed. Everybody to the outside of that final turn as they come down this front stretch. Bolt four lengths back. Oh, and actually gets somehow a step ahead as they come up the belt and Bolt has second spot. I'm not sure if Speedy had difficulty entering the conveyor belt, but Speedy caught off guard and falls back to third. Drives through the chicane, very close. Will they opt for the same side of the helix? Hitting in the middle of the helix was Alpine and Bolt has the lead. The crowd at short circuit is going berserk. Speedy and Mocha close behind there in the battle for third and fourth, but Bolt has the lead as we begin the fourth lap. Down the back stretch, Speedy goes to the outside, tries to make the move on the member of the gliding glaciers and apparently does. No, wait, that's Mocha. Mocha gets by somehow. Oh, and they all come together as they go through the helix. Second, third, and fourth. Speedy has fastest lap. And as I say that, Bolt takes it 22.750 is what the clock shows. A 22 second lap is pretty tidy around this already short track. That is a slow straightaway for Alpine who falls back to fifth spot and look at Minty Flav into third. Minty Flav for the Minty Maniac started in 11th spot and tries to go for second spot here. Across the line, side by side with Mocha. Who gets the better jump? Mocha's on the outside, has a bit more speed entering the turn and holds it through this back stretch. And where does Speedy come from to find all that speed? My goodness, I guess it's in the name, but gets up to fourth. Tries to make a move, but is blocked by Minty Flav. Pinky Toe is also very close behind. Bolt is the leader to the tune of three seconds as we reach the midway point. Taking a look a little farther back, well, we will when there's a moment to breathe. All right, they may be spread out a bit, but there's so many battles right there. Side by side, Pinky Toe and Minty Flav. I think the former got the spot. Yes, indeed. There's Bolt coming through the final turn. Speedy with a good head of steam. They split inside outside at that final turn, but how will it work as they come toward the line? There's Smoggy trying to pass Red Eye. Oh, that's a good battle there. Championship leaders, they come together. Contact between Pinky Toe and Speedy as they come off of the belt. Speedy gets knocked out of sorts. Mallard drafts by. Who is that? Is that Minty Flav mounting another good challenge? They are close together as they head through the far chicane. The midfield is action packed right now. I know all of the eyes of the home crowd at the short circuit are watching Bolt trying to bring it home, but my goodness, there's a lot going on. The Thunderbolts lead. It's Mocha, then Pinky Toe, Mallard, Minty Flav, Speedy gets by Minty Flav, Cosmo, Clementon, Nemo, Yellup, Clutter, Alpine fallen all the way back to 12th, 
Red Eye, Bumble, Shimmer, Royal, Wuspy. They all move as I get there. Bumble in 16th, Smoggy, Royal, Dash, and Prim. What is the lead for Bolt, who also has fastest lap right now? It's over four and a half seconds. Pinky Toe is now up into second place after starting in fourth, but did fall back a ways at the beginning of this race. Mocha and Speedy coming together, those similarly colored marbles. Oh, somebody got in between them. That's Mallard from the Green Ducks, whose teammate Billy found victory lane back at the Stardust Accelerator one week ago. Look at how close these marbles are. It's a four, five, sometimes six marble train navigating through the lead, five and a half. A contact with the wall for Pinky Toe that may let Mocha have a move down the back stretch. Oh, did it happen? No, but they are much closer than they were. Speedy into fourth spot, up into second spot. Good double move. Pinky Toe right back on it, however. Swing around the outside, Mocha took the inside. They look fairly close as they come through, but something happened with Bolt because that lead has come down by nearly three seconds. Well, the crowd beginning to get nervous here. They shared the straightaway right there. Who is that around the outside? That's Minty Flav, Speedy. Guy that got snookered was not expecting that sudden movement. Pinky Toe briefly lost that spot, then comes right back. Oh, look at all three of them, side by side, contact between all of them. Minty Flav holds it for now and will off the belt. Speedy thought about the inside move there, but is forced to defend against Pinky Toe as they come down the backstretch. Two laps to go, one and a half laps to go. Minty Flav is slow through the turn. In the far chicane, Speedy gets up into second spot and is as close as they've been all race to Bolt. One lap remaining. The lead officially is 2.39. Mallard has taken fastest lap and is trying to get another podium for the Green Ducks. Bolt trying to break the home curse. Well up in front, but that lead has come down. What can Speedy do in these final few turns is having to defend against Mallard and Pinky Toe. The Green Ducks get by. They come together in the helix. That guarantees the win for Bolt. Who gets second? It is Speedy. And Mallard finishes on the podium. That's just the second home victory of any racer in the history of Marbula One. You have to go back to Misty Mountain when Hazy took the checkered flag first. What a race that was. Mallard 22.503 on lap 13. That's fastest lap. And uh, oh. Goodness gracious, on the other end of that, it is Team Primary once again. Let's light up that lightning tower. Now you can celebrate. <laughs> this was a race that anybody could have made up any number of positions on a single lap. Mighty entertaining. Look at the battles. The straightaways here may not be as lengthy and as speedy as what we've seen before, but wow. There were still some great battles, great drafts, and Bolt is going to relish in this one. First Grand Prix victory in Marbula 1 for Bolt, and winning at home to... If there's ever a time to completely fry the power, it's now. Let it rip. Well, you see, ever since lap 3, Bolt held on to the lead. And this place will be powerless <laughs> late into the night because they've zapped it all. And look at all of this red. They cannot win the championship anymore. That is most of the field. We're getting down to just a handful of marbles, maybe a dozen, who have a chance to win the Marbula One individual championship. Of course, the team championship also at play. You only see a couple of reds there. That's interesting. Quite a dichotomy. Can anybody catch the crazy cat's eyes? The top four spots did not move. Green Ducks came up, as did Savage Speeders. Thunderbolts have to feel a little bit better about themselves. They're up 11 spots into the top 10, but still, glory on the line down the stretch in Marbula One. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Give us a comment and a like, and we'll see you next time.